Selamat sore from Chenggu, Bali, Indonesia. My name is Kaya. I am an online teacher with Dada ABC. I am from the States. I've been teaching with Dada for about six months now. And before that, I was teaching at an after-school center in Hanoi, Vietnam for a year. And before that, I was teaching for three months from the States with Say ABC. So I've been at it for a little while now. Uh, stick around today because I'm going to show you around my classroom and Bali and whatever we get into. It's going to be fun. First, uh, I'm going to let you guys know some more about my schedule and more about Dada. Uh, it's 1 p.m. here, so I've just finished three hours of working this morning. Um, so that was six classes. They're 30 minutes each. And then I did some feedback. Um, so now it's kind of my break until 5.30 p.m. when I work another three and a half hours. So with um, summer hours, there's tons of availability. I've limited myself to six and a half to seven hours a day because I find myself going a little crazy with too much screen time. Um, so yeah, I give myself a nice break in between. So I'm gonna go get lunch soon at a cute Bali cafe. I'm really excited to show you. Uh, but first of all, some more stuff. We've got my props, just a couple of puppets. We've got a little flower, my mood block, an ice cream, which is full of bubbles as a reward. And uh, my mini whiteboard. Also, lots of little flashcards. I just got a set from like the Dollar Tree in the States. And then I downloaded from Dada and laminated some flashcards too. So yeah, and then with my background, nothing too crazy, a little chart. I think the best way to keep the students engaged is really just like with your energy and TPR. All that fun stuff. If you have questions about teaching with Dada or living in Bali, drop them here. These dogs will answer for you. Right? So I just got back from lunch and meeting up with a friend and now we get to do a house tour the most ridiculous house. Not something I thought I'd end up in when I moved to Bali. But I really lucked out. Super beautiful. We've got a pool and we've got bean bags and a hammock. Let's go inside. Even though outside is the most beautiful part. Here is the living room and my housemate's feet. <laughs> and the kitchen with all of our massive cactuses. Um, got a stove, toaster, a blender, a fridge, no ovens. Those are hard to come by. Now we're upstairs. You can see my room with my teaching station and our roof terrace, which is <laughs> also ridiculously beautiful. You can see the yard from here. Some rice paddies around us. More rice paddies on this side. Lots of distant construction. And my room, hello. So this is all what I see, and then just what the students see. I feel like showing bathrooms is a little weird, but I'm gonna show you anyway, cause this one is super fancy. We've got an obnoxiously large shower, a crafty mirror, and a rice field view. Usually over there you could see a volcano, but today is super overcast and 
seems like everyone is fogging for mosquitoes, you know, to avoid dengue today. So fair enough, fair enough. Huge important question, of course. Um, the visa situation is a bit different right now during COVID times, but normally you can get um, up to 60 days with a visa on arrival without leaving the country. Um, there are other types of visas beyond visa on arrival. I just don't know because I am on an emergency visa specific to the pandemic situation. Um, you can look into other ones. I know other people work online in Bali and get some sort of social visa, like six months. That's something that I wish I knew the answer to. I'm sorry. I'm gonna answer more of your questions after work because it's almost time for me to go back to class. I had a student cancel so I can answer some questions. First of all, um, how much you get paid depends on how many regular students you have and how much you work. So obviously, the more students, the more you work, the higher your pay goes. So it's a big, it's a little confusing, but basically I start off each month making like 1680 something per hour for the first 20 hours and then it goes up to like 18 and then by the end of the month I'm making 2110 2120 per hour. Yeah. That's a cool question. I didn't know anyone when I came here. I came here in a super rush because of COVID. My school closed in Vietnam. All my friends in Vietnam went home. I wasn't ready to go home. And I had a flight ticket here that I just moved overnight. So I moved here in March, and that's just when everything, just before everything went into lockdown. So making friends has not been easy, but I got really lucky with the cool housemates and just meeting random people around cafes and stuff. So I just finished my second chunk of teaching classes today. Uh, so I can answer all of your questions. I got this question a whole bunch, which makes sense because this place is ridiculous. My rent is about 450 US dollars per month. So I share this house with two other girls who I met through a mutual friend in Vietnam. And I just got really lucky. But actually these amazing villas are super easy to find um, through Facebook groups here. Just, it was the same in Vietnam, Facebook, rules when you're traveling. Um, I'm going to give you a full cost of living breakdown for this life, I guess. This was one of my questions when I started. Um, yeah, I cover up my tattoos. I took away my septum piercing. I did that for my in-person job in Vietnam as well kind of just used to being sweaty. Uh, the only advice I can think of right now would be to be flexible. We've all learned that this year things don't go according to plan, but it's okay. It goes like that in teaching as well. You just got to be flexible. Okay, that's it for me today. Um, thank you for watching. I hope I got around to most of your questions. If you've still got questions, no worries. You can just send me a message on my personal account. Um, it was awesome. Thank you, ITA. Good night from Bali.